Hey, and welcome back to my channel. It is your creative weird makeup artist friend, Cat Sketch, to bring you another makeup video. Today is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me style. So, subscribe for more videos like this. We do two videos a week every Monday and Friday here on this channel. Beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos, talking about really creepy weird stories or just life in general. Hit the notification bell for some more. So I'm so sorry there was no video last Friday. I have so many projects behind the scenes going on and I also want to put up videos that I'm really proud of. So that's also why I've had like, not makeup fails, I just call them practices that just don't live up to my expectations so I don't post them for you all because I want you guys to enjoy the videos. It's only fair that I try my best but today we're gonna do just some life updates, chit chat events. Uh, recently, me and my boyfriend celebrated six years together. Oh my gosh, we're old. We had so much fun and my puppy turned a year old. How crazy, life is just going by so fast. She's growing up. I've never been at such a dedicated mother than I am to this little fur child puppy. Like, I love my dog so much and I've never been so connected with a pet animal in my life than I am to Kena, my little one-year-old golden retriever lab mix pup that we rescued. I love her. Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you, we are doing today an e-girl makeup transformation because I've been into e-girl ASMR on TikTok. It's so good, let me tell you. It's like, these girls have so many gadgets and devices for gaming with beautiful wigs, accessories, and like their rooms are glorious. Like their little gaming computer setups. And I love it to pieces. And they like click things with their beautiful manicures, all putting their games in like little devices and backpacks. It's amazing. I'll link some of my favorites down below. So that's what really inspired me to turn into an e-girl today. So that's why I'm also covering the ends of my eyebrows because they have very straight eyebrows to look like anime or anime girls. So the last time I turned into an e-girl, I looked more crazy and it wasn't like as good as I think I could do. Again, practice makes perfect. I'm hoping we'll do a cool job today. Yes, yeah, so my puppy, she turned a year old. We got her some puppy cupcakes. They were so cute. Oh my gosh, it was so hilarious. Not hilarious for my dog, but hilarious to us. I shouldn't say hilarious because we thought, why not take our puppy to the beach? I'll get some cute photographs for her birthday. She's never been to the beach. My dog loves to dig into any type of muddy dirt or sand in the backyard, like right fresh after it rains. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. She's gonna love, she's gonna love the beach then if she loves to dig so much. No, 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 no. Miss Kina, my dog, she absolutely positively hated the beach. She would rather be anywhere else. I'm sure she would have rather have been to the vet than to the beach. She hated it so much right when we got to the water. First of all, I should have known because she hates running water, baths, anything to do with water. Even when she goes to like a her like little doggy babysitter, the babysitter's like, no, she does not like the water. So I should have known because right when we got there, took her to the shore, she's like, no, what is this cold running water? Mom, why do you think I would like this? Let's go back to the car, let's go home. Even though she got excited to see other dogs, like when my dog sees another dog, she loves playing with other dogs so much, she starts bawling, crying because she wants to play with other dogs so bad. But we can't just like go up to strangers' dogs like, can my dog play with your dog? But she starts crying because she wants to play with every single dog she sees and meets, unless the dog's aggressive to her and hates her. We have a neighbor dog that hates my dog for no reason and it's super aggressive trying to get through our fence and bash through our fence to like attack my dog for no reason. That's a different story. But she saw like other dogs there and she wanted to play with them but then once she felt the cold wind and the rushing water of the crashing beach wave, she's like, no ma'am, let's go back to this car. It was quite sad. I felt terrible. I felt like a terrible dog mom, but I thought I was doing what was best, you know? But other than that, she had a fun birthday. She knows how to, little life updates with my dog, like you want or need to know this. She loves frisbees and playing frisbee in the yard is her new thing. Absolutely loves it. Could play out there with a frisbee and try to catch it. She does successfully catch it till she literally passes out. It's the cutest thing ever. 
she's even more affectionate. It's just the best. I love having a dog. I want more dogs, to be honest with you. Like, as, I, as soon as I get my life more together and because I want her to be older to help me train the next dog that comes in, because I'm always gonna try to rescue a dog like I rescued her, just my preference, and I need her to help me train the next one. So she needs to be a little bit older, you know what I mean? Anyways, enough about my dog. Our anniversary with my baby, Corey. We've been together for six years, wow. So, little backstory if you don't know Corey. He's been on this channel so long ago and he's scared to come back on because he was like kind of bad, not bashed, but like a lot of people did not like the last video we did together. But I kind of want him back on this channel. Leave me a comment down below if you would love to see that. But Corey is a welder. He is a musician. He loves like metal music and he's a sweetheart. He looks like he literally could be like a bouncer, like work as a bouncer. Like he's six foot, tough looking guy covered in tattoos, but he's like a teddy bear and no one knows he's a teddy bear when they meet him, but he's adorable. Anyways, he's a great listener and I just love him. We met on a dating app, so much so that we actually worked together on a campaign with, with uh, Match.com even though we met on Zoosk. And we were doing long distance for two years, insane I know. Like thinking back at it now, I'm so like surprised I did that, but whenever I listen to my heart, wow, blush. Remember, we're doing e-girl. Whenever I listen to my heart and go outside of my comfort zone to push myself, I always like usually most of the time love the outcome. So that's what I did with when, with Corey. All my friends were like, you need to get on these dating apps. I was just single for a very long time. I had just moved out of my parents' house. So everyone's like, you need to really get out there. So I did, I went on, I thought, why not pay for a dating app? So maybe the guys will be more serious on there and we'll just see, you know? And then Corey was like probably one of the first less than five guys I was talking to. And right away we like just clicked, like, I don't know what it was. We don't have a lot in common, but we both laugh with each other and we could not stop talking to each other. He was like the first guy who wanted to know how my day was, just how I was doing in general and not just talking about, you know, all of the like romance when it comes to texting and dating. I don't know how else to describe it. Like I wish I kept all the stuff we told each other, how we felt, how the other person made us feel. We texted us the most loveliest, love note, lovey-dovey that makes you want to barf type things. I wish I could go back into my Zeus account, even though it's deactivated of course, and find those and save them into like a book. We've tried, it's hard. So yeah, we did long distance for two years. I lived in California at the time and he was all the way in North Carolina. But I was lucky enough I had family there and I had a cousin come with me on my first date to meet him. He drove over two hours to come see me. And I literally thought, cause I watched so many crime murder shows, I thought I was gonna die. I thought Corey was gonna be an ax murderer. So I told like a few of my closest friends, of course my cousin, like what room we were staying in at a hotel. That sounds shady in the first place. We were talking for over six months before we met each other. And of course he traveled a long ways to see me. My poor cousin, I owe her so much. And so I barely slept because I was like so worried. Cause again, I have anxiety and I watch too many of those murder things, but he didn't murder me. <laughs> it all turned out grand. We're still together and have a dog child together and a house together, our first house. But being with Corey has taught me so much about myself. And I know he always says he wouldn't know where he would be without me. And like, I've helped him so much too. Like he told me how to stick up for myself. Oh my gosh, especially in like work situations when it comes to these companies wanting to scam influencers. That's another video. But 
Yeah, Corey sometimes is just like, if he could, he would type person. Like, he listens to like little things I never thought a guy would listen to. Like, my favorite movies and Pokemon when I was a child. And he'll watch, rewatch my favorite kid, like childhood memory movies with me. And stuff like that. And like, again, another if he could, he would. Driving two hours to come see me and meet me and doing a long distance relationship was so hard for two years before we moved in together. He moved cross country for me. Like I'm so lucky. So like I said, we celebrated six years together and every anniversary we, since the beginning, we try to make it a thing to where we do something that's a memorable experience for our anniversary that has to do with something we both like and are passionate about and something that either gives back or something with nature. So two years we've gone hiking in a forest to a log cabin, it's so nice. And we would go into like the nature museums. We love, we found out we both love like the giant squid documentaries. And so that got us into like going to all the aquariums together and we swam with sharks together. And this year, this is the second time we're doing this. We went for his birthday one time. We hung out with rescued wolf dog packs. It was amazing. And it's kind of like a jo Joe Exotic situation. Unfortunately, in some of these wolf dog packs, I'm not gonna say the names of the places we went to. The second place we went to recently for our anniversary was amazing top notch they care for the animals the most ethical towards the animals and looking after them the first one we went to kind of more trash than this one to be honest like the first one literally i know celebrities and stuff they give money to this place and they're both in texas but the first one they put these dogs in these like areas where they have no human interaction whatsoever. This newest place we do, they socialize these animals. They give them their space like for a few months right after they rescue them from the harshest conditions of like people abandoning them. They're in a kill shelter type situation where they're gonna be like put down if someone doesn't do something. And so they rescue these dogs, give them their own like space for a few months before they let anybody like really socialize with them like any visitors or anything which is amazing you know their dogs bred with wolves because unfortunately out here and across the u.s people love to breed dogs with wolves into this hybrid that they think is so magical yet it's so dangerous because you don't know how much of it's wolf and how much of it's dog and even then even if it's more dog than wolf for me personally, like you don't know when it could turn its back on you because wolves are wild animals, like it or not, no matter how much dog is in that wolf dog. So yeah, people do that and then they can't take care of it because they try to put in an apartment or something crazy. One guy, I had heard a story, tried to, lived on a boat for three months out of the year and tried to have a wolf dog on a boat, crazy. So they rescue these dogs, put them, in their facility and it's so cute because like they even have their own personal wolf dogs that they have as pets that they adopted from these rescues in with the sanctuary of the other wolf dog so they all make friends and they all frolic it's so beautiful and on top of it the first place we went to for these wolf dog things they had vip tours that were up to a hundred and fifty dollars per person what miss what and they weren't socializing the dogs with humans whatsoever. They weren't allowed to go for walks. They were just stuck. And they had these like weird concrete slab like dog houses that were just like construction concrete slabs and pipes with some dirt on top of it. But the second place we went to recently had like put all their time and effort to put up fencing so they won't get out of like the acres of ranch and stuff that they have to roam in. And they were in their own packs and they homemade them little dog houses and like ramps and towers to climb on. It was so cool. And they showed us like how they feed the dogs and you could really tell like a lot of the people there were like family families working together and some of the local college students that would volunteer there they made 
the designs for the t-shirts that you could buy in a gift shop and they also hold charity events so you could come to like their cookouts to buy food and the money you pay for the food goes towards the wolf dogs and they walk these wolf dogs not only help socialize them to people because they love some of them just like love cuddles and like regular dogs where they like pets and cuddles and love so cute and they roll over and yeah they walk them for miles a day everyone gets every single one of them gets walked for miles a day and they all have names and they see what type of dog that they are so they're all bred with wolves right like they'll be a husky or a german shepherd bred with a wolf but they see how much of them is like low medium to high like wolf like attitude personality because the ones with the most wolf-like personality they get very like not defensive but you have to watch out how like they'll keep their eye on smaller children so they have age brackets for each wolf pack like these two in this wolf pack you have to be 12 and over these two in this wolf pack you have to be like 16 and older because you can't like pet them on their stomachs or backs or hind and you can only pet them on like their face or their head or some of them you don't pet at all and they have to come up to you and some of them you could just like rub their stomach like a regular dog and like but they still have age brackets to see like it's so much smarter the other place was like well the other place had real wolves too like full-blooded wolves just hearing the stories behind them was so interesting so it definitely is kind of like, I say Joe, Joe, Joe Exotic because the first place gets so much money and is such a high-end facility with giant metal fences and people give them money all of the time. Like you could tell they're like more higher end. They have more people working there. They have a bigger facility, but I feel like the animals there aren't treated as well as the ones at the smaller sanctuary that's family owned. You know, I've only been to two of them, but the two I've been here in Texas, it's just such a difference. You know, and they're not as out there for it for the money. They're there for the passion of it, you could tell, because it's like 25, under 30 bucks per person at this one. And they really teach you and they have you, they let you ask any question. And the other one is just like, stay away from them. They're more of like the dangers of a wolf, which I understand, and you have to stay away from them, but... This one is so much more interesting. And even if I didn't get to pet the wolves at this newer one, like it was just so interesting. Like if you can look into how, it's so hard to even find how, how these animals are treated before you go to these sanctuaries or rescues. I kind of want to go to more now just to see and do like reviews so other people don't have to spend their money on someone that's not as ethical. And I didn't do this just cause you know, Joe Exotic made it popular to see you wild animals but if you find ethical ones i would do it and no i'm not thinking about every time we would go to these though they'd be like are you gonna get a wolf dog i'm like i don't think it's fair to the wolf dog because i don't have acres of land for it i also don't have like the time not the time space and money to feed it raw food and stuff they eat so much more i feel like than regular dogs because the whole time they're there like they adopt these dogs out and make sure that they go to good homes and they're like, do you want one? And I'm like, no. I just know I can give it the real life it deserves with how much money and time I can, you know? And I, But I love that that they really check out where these dogs go to because they ha had so many stories of like people that would be so mad that, you know, they would deny people even if they had the money, especially that one guy that wanted to put it on a boat. And they even like had these packs of the dogs together to where like the young ones would be with an older dog that is patient and would teach it certain ways on how to like live in the sanctuary and like how it should get along with the other dogs. I feel like eyeliner is an art <laughs> that's so difficult. I'm doing a little inner corner and I'm gonna do some flared out fake lashes. Now I'm trying to think of what we should do next <laughs> for our next anniversary. How big and above can we go without being too crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the liner lashes and do a gloss with a wig and we will be back. And just like that, we have turned into an e-girl talking about Joe Exotic type wolf projects in Texas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Turning into an e-girl, this is so cute. I could not do this every day, but I absolutely love this and I would love to do it again. Leave a comment down below on what you would love to see on this channel featuring my boyfriend. What kind of video would you like us to film for you all? If I choose your comment, I'll definitely shout you guys out. Subscribe for more videos like this. We do two videos a week every Monday and Friday here. The anime girl circle lenses are from pinkyparadise.com. I think I just found this wig off of Amazon, to be honest. I'm also on TikTok now, opening PR packages behind the scenes and more looks from here. Thank you friends so much for watching. Love you all. I hope you had so much fun as much as I did. Bye.